There's a shark right in front of me. Pretty big. Where to find it is. South Wales. A good a place as any I think to have a quick discussion on the topic of sharks. It's a uh, topic that I think is fairly sensationalised. It gets way too much attention in kayak fishing circles. But at the same time I think it's perfectly natural for, for people to uh, think and talk about sharks and, and to fear sharks. Uh, it's archetypal really. No one wants to be eaten alive and uh, obviously that's the thought that people associate with sharks. But the truth of the matter is that of all of the species of sharks that are out there, and there's many, only a handful of them are dangerous to humans and encountering them is not that common. Uh, you've probably heard the statistics people like to quote, you've got more chance of having a coke machine fall on top of you. Well, you know, look, that, that might be true to a certain degree, but when you stop to think about it, not really. You know, most people don't go kayak fishing offshore or in shark infested waters. The guys who do go fishing out in open water, I think that that's something that uh, they have to be mentally prepared for and even physically prepared for. And by that, I mean uh, being relatively fit, confident, uh, somewhat experienced in where you are and what you're doing. And with respect to equipment, Look, let's face it, there's not, there's not a lot out there that you can use to defend yourself from a shark attack. If a shark was to show up and turn aggressive, there's not a lot I could do about it, really. Uh, I have had a, an encounter with a great white shark. It was somewhat intimidating, and believe me, it did change my perspective on the matter. It was here in Shark Bay where I saw the great white. It was uh, a couple of k's that way and uh, an hour or so after it happened it started to freak me out a fair bit to be honest with you i started seeing shadows in the water and at that point i started to think you know this feeling this feeling could come back at, at, at any stage i could come back out here any other day and i could start thinking about sharks and it wasn't really a feeling that i wanted to continue to have so there was really only one thing I could do uh, to uh, address the issue. So I had, I guess, was to stop coming out here and that wasn't going to happen. So the only thing I could really do to uh, help protect myself from um, having close encounters like that was to get myself a shark shield. And these devices, which we've got deployed at the moment, it's not turned on. Uh, whilst they're not cheap, they are good. and. Uh, once you've got something like that at your side, you, you stop thinking about sharks, or at least you stop worrying about them, and uh, that's the whole point of it. You know, it's no, what's the point of being out here if you're just going to be out here shivering in your boots, supposed to be having fun when you go kayak fishing? It's not going to be much fun if you're intimidated. So something like this really does help. Do they work? That's a good question, I suppose. I mean, that's the that's the million dollar question. The Australian Navy seems to think so. Obviously, they've done uh, their research. My own experience, yeah, they work. The sharks up along the side of the kayak and turning on the shark shield definitely irritates them. They don't like it and they try to get away. So that's as much as I can tell you about whether they work or not in terms of um, deterring a shark. But I can certainly tell you for sure that they work in the sense of 
uh, relaxing your thoughts. <laughs> a few ways you can go about using the shark shield on a kayak and the first way that was suggested to me by the guys at Shark Shield themselves was to have the antenna fed through a scupper hole like so and if you do that then you know that the antenna is making good contact with the water here you can see how I've got the shark shield attached to the ucker of my Hobie Adventure Island. It's pretty handy here, it's just to my left, nice and easy for me to access. I just have to reach out and twist that little knob there to turn it on. Uh, I don't have this thing switched on 100% of the time, mind you. I know that the instructions say that you're supposed to, but I do believe that those instructions are there partly for the sake of divers. This particular unit, the Freedom 7, is also recommended for divers, but I don't have it on all the time when I'm kayak fishing. The idea is you're out here, you're kayak fishing away, do 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 do, you see a shark, holy shit, you grab the antenna, throw it in, turn the switch, make sure that that antenna is submerged in the water, and then relax. Back there, just in front of me, looks like it's coming towards me. Let's see if I can get a piece of 